Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we are going to be dealing with the Coastal Cave. Now, a couple of things you should do first before coming here. First is make sure you have a light, light source. I highly recommend coming all the way down to the isolated merchant's shack. Obviously from here you want to backtrack up to the church. Right, it's going to come all the way around here. Look, around here, around here, around here, around here from the Church of Anna. Highly recommend you do this because then you don't have to sacrifice your shield arm for the torch, which you can buy from Church of Ella. In addition to that, then, I highly recommend that you make sure you have Melina available. Go back to the church so that you are able to summon the wolves, which we are going to be using in the boss fight for this area. With the lantern equipped, then, we are able to push forward without having to worry too much about the dark. Otherwise, this can be a bit of a pain. Enemies here aren't too difficult, however, uh, they do like to mob up and pack on you, so just be aware of that. Get this one front. There's going to be a load more down here, so uh, just be careful. When he says they'll beat you to a pulp, that is their thing. But much like the wolves and a lot of the other enemies early in the game, these are very susceptible to the R2 counter. I don't think there's a weapon where it doesn't uh, put them instantly into the, uh, what is called, vulnerable state or critical state. Sorry if it's quiet, but there's really not much for me to say. Just wreck face. That's all you do in here. So with all of that cleared then, we have the boss room ahead. Now, both times I've been here, I've had the round table hold available. And I don't know if that's the trigger for this golden summon. If you don't know how to get that unlocked quickly, what I'd recommend is along this very same road where I told you to go down to the south, come to this point here and head north. To the church. Behind this church along here is a teleporter which will take you all the way up here to this bestial sanctum. If you rest at this grace you will instantly unlock the round table hold. So if this isn't here go ahead and do that. Once he's here, we're just going to walk in and cackle as we barely have to do anything. Let's just try not to get back, backstab or anything here. Oh, one spam! It's alive, you know. I couldn't get in for the critical. This is just still knocking the thing. It's one down. The other one didn't even get to aggro on him. This is kind of funny though. Oh no, we're gonna die. Not. Yeah. 
Cool, there we are. All done. Now, before you warp on out, consider going through the cave. We have a couple more enemies in here. Really should not be a problem. And it will unlock the island that you can kind of see from the beach. You should see that we're already underneath it. Is it? I only need a higher stability shield so we can preserve more stamina. But right now, this is what we are working with. So to finish off then, we're going to go up on top of the hill here. We'll get our point of lost grace. And if you go behind this, there is a dung beetle thing that will give you a sombering stone, which is kind of useful. So I'd probably recommend checking that out as well. Either way guys, this video has been long enough and I will catch you all in the next one.